In modern football, loyalty is all but dead. Players are more driven by wealth and fame than loyalty and love for their clubs. For many players, football is a job, not a passion. However, in the famous Italian city Rome, there was a man who was not driven by trophies, wealth or fame, but driven by love. Join us as we talk about AS Roma's very own gladiator, Francesco Totti. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's start from the very beginning. Francesco was born in Rome on the 27th of September 1976. His talent was obvious from an early age. From the age of four, he began to regularly play football with older boys from his city. His talent was so clear and obvious that his father signed him up to a local youth team. He played for three of his local youth teams throughout the 80s, where he impressed scouts and soon a huge offer would arrive. AC Milan would offer him a lucrative deal, but his mother declined in order to keep him home. A huge gamble which was about to pay off. In 1989, he was on the verge of joining Roma's rivals Lazio. However, at the last minute, a Roma youth coach persuaded Totti's family and the club to come to an agreement. It was official. Totti was now a Roma player. Totti spent three seasons in the youth setup, waiting for an opportunity. After three years of hard work, that opportunity finally came. At the young age of 16, he made his first appearance in Roma's first team in a 2 0 win over Brescia in March 1993. It's a moment that would shape his future forever. In the following season, under the guidance of Carlo Mazzone, Totti's role in the team would expand. He was given more and more minutes playing as a second striker and on September 4th, 1994, the faith in Totti was rewarded when he scored his first goal in a match against Foggia. A moment of pure joy and validation. Totti's talent could not be contained. By 1995, he was a regular starter, scoring 16 goals across the next three seasons. His manager, Mazzone, showered the youngster with praise. Totti was on the rise and the world was beginning to notice. However, not every path is without its obstacles. In the summer of 1996, Mazzone was sacked and Roma bid farewell to their influential captain, Giuseppe Giannini. Totti, who had been flourishing under Mazzone's guidance, was expected to step up and lead the team. However, the 1996-97 season didn't go as planned. Roma struggled and Totti found himself fighting for playing time under new manager Carlos Bianchi. Things hit rock bottom in 1997 when Totti was on the verge of being loaned to Sampdoria. But in an interesting twist of fate, Roma's chairman blocked the transfer. This move not only kept Totti at the club but also sparked tensions with Bianchi. This led to Bianchi's departure. This turn of events set the stage for Francesco to write his name in the Roma history books. Under new manager Zedanek Zeman, Totti found his groove. From a tactical standpoint, Totti found his home on the left wing within Zeman's rigid formation. This new position provided him with more space to showcase his skills in one-on-one -on -one situations, leaving defenders in his wake. He had the freedom to cut into the centre and unleash powerful shots with his stronger foot. His evolution was evident and he grew into a more complete player, both physically and mentally. Totti's dedication to his craft was unwavering. He became stronger, fitter and more hardworking than ever before. His increased physicality allowed him to dominate on the field, while his improved work ethic inspired his teammates. The club recognised his growth and rewarded him with the prestigious number 10 jersey. A symbol of responsibility and leadership, Totti continued to make himself the face of Roma through his passion, dedication and hard work. He was no longer just a talented player, he had become a symbol of the club and a natural leader. On October 31st, 1998, at the tender age of 22, Totti was bestowed with the honour of becoming Roma's official team captain. This made him the youngest captain in Syria history, taking over the armband from the revered Alder. By the early 2000s, Zeman had been replaced by Fabio Capello as manager. This was a move that aimed to win them a league title. Under Capello's guidance, Roma began to assemble a competitive team centred around Totti. The young maestro now deployed as a creative midfielder in a 3-4-1-2 formation. 
showcases passing skills and playmaking abilities. Totti's impact was immediate as he found the back of the net in Roma's season debut, a confident 2-0 win over Bologna on October 1st, 2001. One of Totti's most memorable moments that season came on December 10th in a thrilling 2-1 victory against Udinese. Totti unleashed a thunderous left-footed volley, sealing the win for Roma. His powerful strike not only secured three points, but also showcased his exceptional skill and match-winning ability. On June 17, 2001, at the illustrious Stadio Olimpico, Roma claimed the coveted title of Italian champions for the third time in their history. In a 3-1 victory over Parma, Totti, along with strike partners Vincenzo Montella and Gabriel Battistuta, each scored a goal to secure the Scudetto. It was a moment of pure joy and triumph for Totti and the devoted Roma fans. Totti's remarkable form and leadership qualities garnered him numerous accolades. He was named Serie A Footballer of the Year for both 2000 and 2001. These recognitions further solidified his status as a true footballing great. Now that we've established just how good Totti was as he developed at Roma, let's now explore his potential exits from the club. First up, Manchester United. The transfer market is a place of endless speculation and missed opportunity. Even the legendary Sir Alex Ferguson had his fair share of near misses, and one of those near misses involved the iconic Francesco Totti. Totti was on Fergie's radar. The former United boss spoke to Gazzetta dello Sport and said, We liked the player, and we really would have liked to include him in our plans. But, when we expressed our interest, it immediately became clear that Totti did not want to leave Rome. He was deeply attached to his city. His CV is clear. Totti has, in his career, only worn the Rome shirt. Another side that famously showed interest was none other than Real Madrid. This was the move that was closest to completion. In 2004, Real Madrid were desperate to add Totti to their team. They had been reported to have been willing to offer anything it took to secure his signature. Totti himself describes the move as being practically all done. However, he had a change of heart and stayed with the club that he loves. Ultimately, Totti decided to ignore any offers and stay at Roma. At the end of the 2016-17 season, Totti finally waved goodbye to Roma, at least in a playing capacity. He was 40 years old when he hung up his boots, and he had played an eye-watering 786 games for his boyhood club. Throughout his illustrious career, Totti demonstrated an unwavering commitment to his beloved Roma, becoming a symbol of loyalty in an era defined by transfers and fleeting allegiances. But it wasn't just about staying with one club, it was about the passion he brought to the pitch with each touch, each pass and each goal. Totti's love for the game was infectious, captivating fans around the world and inspiring a new generation of footballers. Totti's loyalty went beyond the pitch. After hanging up his boots, he signed a contract as Roma's technical director, ensuring his continued presence and influence within the club he cherished. In a world where money often dictates player decisions, Totti stood firm, choosing to write his own narrative rather than chasing trophies elsewhere. He understood the priceless value of forging a lifelong connection with a club and its fans, creating a legacy that transcends mere statistics.